Hello YouTubers, welcome to vlog number 58. Today is Phil Clapp's 1K world record attempt on the rowing machine. It's really exciting. Really excited to go to Hammersmith and get some film of Phil doing that. Let's see if Phil can do it. It's going to be really tight. The split for 1K is 119.8 or 119.6. Uh, held by Sam Locke. Let's see if Phil can break it today. Other than that, we're going to try and get a smaller workout on the bike today, maybe half an hour. We'll see if we've got enough time even to do the 55 minutes. And some questions about the smoothies I've been making. Let's show you making one. So today, no mince, no chicken, but I have some leftover paella, some shrimp rice veg paella. So we're going to put some of that in with my normal smoothie. I've got the cameras as well. Let me show you the cameras. So I've got the Sony A7S II, just charging the batteries. And I've got the Sony A9 again with the 16 to 35 on there this time. Again from the guys at lensesforhire.co.uk. Just getting the batteries charged. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog on those that those cameras today or just keep them for filming Phil. But we'll see, really excited. Let's get to smoothie making. Okay, got my smoothie cup thing, just gonna put the camera down. That is it right there, okay. Milk, got my leftovers. Maybe I'll put a banana in. So this is the shrimp and paella mix here. Into the smoothie, a couple of spoonfuls of milk. Okay, so now to get to blending. Okay, let's give it a try. Yeah, tastes pretty good. Well, you can't smell it. It tastes pretty similar to the previous movies. It's just the spices that are, that are a little different. So the tikka masala and all that that was put in smells very strongly of that, but not quite tasting of it. So some prawns and some rice in there. Maybe it's all sunk to the bottom. Might have to give it a bit of a shake. And then it's all coming up here. Delicious. So I'm gonna finish that off pack all the camera gear, get all the lights in my car, everything that I might need, just over, over, over pack. For Phil's 1K world record attempt, hopefully get down to Leander for the workout and then get some food in there somewhere and then go to London for the workout. So excited to go film Phil do it. Okay, let's get going to the next step of the day. Okay, and we're back. You'll notice that I've switched cameras. Now we're on the Sony A7S II with the 28mm. I've kept the A9 in the bag for later. Maybe use that when we get into... when we get to London, perhaps. I'm going to head down to Leander now, quick bike, and then off to London. I'm going to try and grab a quick bite to eat as well in there somewhere for recovery. Pretty much got all of my camera gear with me too. Hopefully one of the cameras does what it's supposed to. Okay, let's get to Leander. And that's me back at Leander Club. Just gonna grab my stuff and then head in, get erging. No, biking today, straight on the bike. Gonna just grab the GoPro, switch cameras. Let's get going. All right, just finished the bike, 210 watts. Did less time, half an hour, and then did 
a secret little bit at the end. Just testing out what I can do. Not secret, uh, a little different. Just to see what a peak, so 900 and something watts. Just for a little bit of time, just to see what's there. Just getting into testing stuff. Heart rate just goes whew. So still getting used to all that, obviously, still building in. But it's good to know that power's still there. Okay, I've not got much time to go to London, or get changed, get showered, get food, go to London. Heading there now. Slight change of plan, just heating up some leftovers, the same paella prawn rice mix that I put in the smoothie this morning. We're gonna eat that, because recovery is key, then head off to London. Should have enough time to do both. All right, meet you in the car. And off to Hammersmith. We go. Okay, made it to Hammersmith. Just waiting on Phil. I'm gonna park the car, get out of the car, and set everything up. Let's get to it. And we're inside the car park. Having a game of Tetris. I think that's the smallest space I've ever got into with the Yaris. But it's a benefit of the Yaris. Just chatting to everyone. Let's go set up or see what we're doing, dealing with. And that's us set up the erg. See if there's any more adjustments needed when Phil comes down and has a look. Very hot outside and in here, especially when you've got your lovely pirate trousers on. So let's have a look here. Looking good so far. Let's see what Phil's up to. At the moment, Phil's just still preparing, resting. What time is it now? 1.34, so less than two hours, and we're gonna just see about what's going on. We're gonna just set up some different camera angles. So, just chatting away, relaxing, until the air time, and I'll set up the cameras and different things just to make sure it's all good before Phil starts his air go. All right. Pretty excited. Fingers crossed for Phil. It is now 2.30. We went downstairs just to see different lighting, different camera angle setups. Looking good so far. We've got about, it is 2.35 now, so less than an hour to go. Phil is just getting ready. He's almost there, almost ready to start warming up. Just getting more and more excited. Oh yeah. Okay, that's Phil all prepped, ready to go. So head downstairs, let's catch him warming up.
side. Yeah, on your side, on your side. That's it again. That was so annoying. The amount of pain that I put myself through <laughs> to finish it. <laughs> And that is the end of the rowing footage of today. The unfortunately Phil didn't make the world record for his 1k. A little bit of the breathing difficulty. A little bit. 1k is quite hard at 119, it seems. How was that, Phil? <sighs> Obviously, not quite what I wanted. Uh, it was always going to be, a, it's a huge record, Sam Locke did it, he's in prime shape. Um, it was never a, a set. I knew I was kind of in the ballpark, or thought I was in the ballpark from my training. Felt good before, could warm up. Felt really good, like going through 250, going through 500, nice and relaxed, all 118s, 119s. Um, even like going through 600, still felt good. Obviously it's getting a bit painful then. Just keep it going and then just absolutely hit the wall at 720. Luckily for me, I don't have to wait another four years, unlike the guys in the squad. It's not my Olympic final. Today wasn't the day, but at least they gave it my best shot. That was 100%. I kind of walking away with no regrets for today. Would you say that you're saying it's not your Olympic final, so that you don't have to wait four years? So you're saying there's another one on the cards? Well, never say never. All right, so that'll be the end of the vlog for today. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever experienced that kind of thing in a workout, whether it's on the rowing machine, whether you're running, just that stage where you get to, where you're in such a deep hole that your vision goes, your breathing goes. Let me know in the comments below. Like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good one.